So today's video, we're going to dive into Google Calendar's brand new feature, and we're going to explore how and where you can get it inside of your Google accounts and everything you need to know about how to use it. Now, today, this video is sponsored by our own application, Bento. It's available for iOS, either in pre-order or if you're watching this video past the 4th of April, it's available to download now. Check it out in the link in the description. So Google Calendar already had a feature called appointment slots, but they're introducing something called appointment scheduling, and it's only available for select Google Workspace editions. We'll jump into that a little bit later. They introduced this on Friday, March the 25th. And as you can imagine, Google have already had some form of appointment slots for a while now. You can create them inside of your account. And essentially what they do is they allow you to find slots in your calendar in order to send them on. However, this is much more suitable, this brand new appointment scheduling for creating external friendly booking pages, which is much more common in apps like Fantastical, Calendly, and many more. So they said that this rollout would be a gradual rollout up to 15 days from the 24th of March to see this feature fully visible and also the scheduled release of domains on the rollout one to three days starting April 6th. But this will currently and only be available to Workspace Business Standard Business Plus, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Education Fundamentals, Education Standard, Education Plus, this teaching and learning upgrade and nonprofit customers. And it's going to be not available to Workspace, Essentials, Business Starter, Frontline, as well as Legacy, G Suite, Basic, and Business Customers. So you're only going to be able to get this inside of a specific Google plan. But let's dive into how it works before we begin, because you might be making that decision to upgrade or not between them. So inside of your Google account, you can go ahead and go to Create Appointment Schedule and basically start filling in information of how you want the regular slots. You choose your availability, associate even say Google Meet uh, video conferencing and send the link on to somebody. And now they get an experience on their end, allowing them to book a specific meeting. Something we see very commonly with Calendly and many of the other applications on the market. You can also set up in quite high level of detail Things like a booking form and booking details, so you can really capture the most of the information, as well as be able to capture more information on the customer's end as too. So this is really much more designed for business users or those who are doing consultation, etc. And you can even set up confirmation and reminders too. And a little bit of customization to how your booking page looks like. So this new feature probably will affect what a lot of customers will already be using. But as you can imagine, having that integrated service can make your decisions change around whether you want an external service to provide that experience. Obviously, other apps have become pretty much leaders in the market in this. Calendly and many more have developed features that go a lot further than potentially this. But if it's something that is just a simple switch of a upgrade to business standard plus, etc., then this is something to consider. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed this Google Workspace update. Again, please feel free to check out Bento in the link in description, which is launching on Monday the 4th. Thank you very much, folks, and I hope you enjoyed today's feature about Google Calendar's new edition. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio!